Hello again, everybody. We're Dawn and Perry Cooperator with Preferred Pest Control. And this is um, another video I've lost count. We're like four or five days into Rodent Awareness Week at this point, um, which is put on by the National Pest Management Association just to educate the public um, of the dangers that rodents cause to your health and your property. Um, so today we're gonna talk about um, how to know if uh, you've already got a rodent or mouse problem. Um, obviously, once it, re once it reaches a certain level, you're, you're not gonna miss it. You're gonna see something running across your floor. But um, what can you tell um, our viewers this morning about um, how, to, how to look around the house to spot that, that early so that it can be uh, treated before it becomes a huge problem? Sure. So, First of all, you want to do that visual inspection, kind of like I talked about on the exterior of the house. You want right. to do a visual inspection on the interior of the house as well. Um, and the way that I like to go about doing that is, first, I start off in the garage. Okay. And what I do is I make sure that, of course, the garage door is down. And, you know, if there's, if there's windows or blinds or anything, I try to close everything up and I try to turn the lights off. Okay. Um, because I want to see if I can see daylight. Mm -hmm. If I can see daylight coming in from underneath that garage door or around the walk-in door, or maybe even around a window, mm -hmm. uh, then I know that there's a possibility that rodents can get in. So I want to try to get that still. Okay. But while I'm in the garage, you know, I want to look around the, they, they usually go around walls mm -hmm. um, or pipes. So I'm going to always look around the walls and the pot and the pipes or you know areas that they're they're going to travel so what i'm looking for is I'm, I'm of course looking for paper shreddings where they've shredded something you know maybe there's boxes or or stuff out there uh of course i'm going to look for droppings if i mm -hmm. see any kind of droppings i know that there's something going on as well uh and then i'm also going to go down for this inspection i'm going to go into the basement mm -hmm. um you know, everybody, there's different types of basements. There's finished basements, unfinished basements, crawl spaces, different things like that. So the basements that I can actually see stuff that where it's maybe it's not a finished basement, but finished basement's a little harder to tell. But if it's an unfinished basement or a crawl space, of course, go down into the basement and turn the lights off again. Okay. Look around the walls. If it's a brick foundation, an older brick, sometimes you can see daylight coming in there. Mm -hmm. uh, crawl spaces, if you can see daylight coming in, that's potential areas for rodents to get in. So I want to make sure that that is all sealed up, okay. first of all. Uh, while you're in the house, one of the things I'm always going to be looking around the baseboards of the walls, mm -hmm. I'm going to be looking for droppings, I'm going to be looking for the rub marks, which is the smudges that I was kind of talking about. Uh, sometimes we get calls and we'll, we'll t you know, we'll talk to customers and they're like, yeah, my dog or cat food, it just seems like they're eating a lot of food. Right. So if you have a dog or a cat and you're like, man, it seems like they're eating a lot of food, but you don't see them eating it, there's a good possibility that there may be rodents snagging that, that up and taking it. You know, they, yeah. sometimes you hear pack rats. Mm -hmm. Well, what they're doing is they're getting that food and they're taking it packing it away yeah so I, yeah i experienced that one time when i was younger at my grandma nancy's house my cousin hillary uh and i went there to spend the night and um when we pulled out the sofa sleeper you could see you know down behind the couch she kept a very tidy home and when we pulled it out we were real little there was a big pile of dog food back there and we just were like Grandma, why do you keep your dog food behind the couch? And she was like, what are you two talking about? <laughs> and she came over and looked and oh my gosh, the rat hunt was on. Oh my goodness. So it, it was an interesting night. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet. Uh, yeah, did you guys sleep good that night? Uh, no, probably not. No, but there was a dead rat the next morning. <laughs> okay, so all Grandma right. was pretty good at uh, dealing with the rodents. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, in the kitchen as well, you wanna open up the your your pantries, your where you're keeping the food. Look in there. They they're, they are attracted to the food. They're wanting to they're wanting to eat. Um, you want to make sure that water pipes and everything's sealed. You don't want to have leaks, you know, so they can get water. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but just and continuing to look for those rub marks and the droppings. You know, it's good to clean out your pantries every now and again, sure. just to make sure there's nothing going on inside there. Yeah. They can they can live in there for a long time, and you may not notice it, but. Uh, you may not notice it for a while until they start breeding and like I talked in the earlier videos and then you start seeing them 
running here and there, mm -hmm. you may have a bigger problem than you right. had to begin with. Yeah, and that's how they spread the disease. When they're running around in your food and over your silverware and your plates and that yes. kind of thing, and, and you don't realize it because it's a small amount of bacteria, but it only takes a little bit to make you really sick. So um, thanks for joining us again. Um, if you're just tuning in, make sure you go back and check out all of our episodes from the previous days. Uh, we've got a couple more days of this, I think. So make sure you check back in um, for, for some more helpful hints. Um, I know coming up soon, we're gonna be talking to you um, about how to get rid of those pesky rats and mice if they are a known problem in your home uh, what you can do about it and at what point it's time to call the pros in so uh, we will see you next time bye guys